come Owen and I'm going to talk you through the new Joomla 4 Web Services API. Um, it effectively is a way of communicating with a Joomla 4 site from another place. It could be another site or um, some app or something like that. Um, so I'm going to talk you through the basics of it and we'll just show you how it works roughly. Uh, the first thing you'll need to have is a copy of Joomla 4. If you haven't got one, you can get one from uh, launch.joomla.org. Change the advanced settings and make sure you've got the Joomla 4 beta selected um, and then create yourself um, an instance or you can download it to your local host. If you Google Joomla nightlies, you'll be able to find the download there. So the next thing you'll need is a copy of Postman. So it's postman.com. So just download the free version of Postman. And the last thing you need is the J4X API collection from Alexandra Elise. Um, really, really useful that he's created this. So big thanks to him. Um, so jump onto that. It's on GitHub um, forward slash Alexandra Elise. And then you can find this J4X API collection. So once you've got all that, open up your Postman. I've got it here. I'm going to import the collection I just showed you. So download it somewhere, and uh, if you've done the zip, make sure you export it, and you'll see this JSON file. So I'm going to import that. And when I do, you'll see this new collection, which has got all of the API endpoints. So I'm going to click on the three dots, and click on Edit. First thing I need to do is set up a variable. Now you'll see in all of these endpoints, they have base path. So I need to tell it what base path is. So the base path is basically your um, your URL for your website. So mine's on localhost, so I'll just save it like that. And then I will update it. And then I need to do one more thing, which is set up the authorization. So I'll show you how to do that in Joomla 4. So the first thing you need to do is go into your Joomla 4 instance and click on users. In this case, I've got one user myself, so I'll click on that. And then you need to click on this Joomla 4. You'll see it's here. You click on the Joomla 4 API token. It might say that you haven't got a token yet and you need to save it, in which case just save the user and then it should generate one. So copy that token. So I've got that. Back into Postman. The type of authorization you need is um, a bearer token. So I'll click on bearer token and I will paste the key that I just copied. And I'll click update. Now if I go into my collection, I'm going to go and find um, com contact and uh, just an article. So let's go with that. So first thing you'll notice is it's got an article ID. So I'll need to go into Joomla and find an article ID that exists. So if I go to content and articles, we have none. OK, so if I go... Um, I'll install the sample blog data. So you may need to do this too if you've just created a, a Joomla for instance. So it's creating some items for me. So now if I go into content and articles, I'll see that there's an ID number six. So I'm going to put that at the end of the URL and then press send. So you see it's going to this API endpoint it's looking for content, which is com content. It's looking for an article and the specific article ID. So in this case, six. And you can see everything that comes back is part of the article. So there's some text with some paragraphs in it. There's a title. State one will be published, I imagine. Um, the ID, which we told it. And uh, it's com content, com content. And some other stuff in there. So if we now check and make sure that's correct. So it's called your template and has some information about templates. So let's go back and check. And it's called your template. Templates control the look and feel. And we can see templates control the look and feel. So straight away we know that that's worked, which is excellent. And not too much difficulty in that because um, we've used this JSON file that Alexandra at least created. So really helpful to get a quick start. One thing I should warn you is that not all of these will work because um, for example, I haven't created any banners. So if I use banner, I won't find any. Um, they just don't exist. Another useful thing whilst we're on this page is that you can um, 
you can see the code. If you click on code and you can change it. So PHP curl is a good one because Joomla is in PHP and it gives you the code to get this file. So that's pretty useful. Um, you can also see on uh, the Joomla 4, this is called Joomla Core APIs and it's in the Joomla docs, J4 Joomla Core APIs. So this shows you all of the endpoints. Um, so you can see here banners, clients, categories. Um, so if we go to content and articles, which is what we've just done, so we will see that um, get a single article and it's got this curl command. And we have used roughly the same, but we didn't use the curl part. Um, so you can use that to guide you, or you can also use this um, code, which it gives you uh, a few more options. Whichever way you find easiest um, is fine. So now that we've done that, let's have a look at um, creating an article, because it's not just reading, we can write as well. So in this case, we're looking for post. So in this case, um, we do need some um, something to put in the body. So in this case, it's already saved because the JSON saved it. So this one's going to be called my article and the article text is going to be say my text. It's got a category ID and everything like that. So if we put this as um, JSON and then send. Field required title. We don't have a title there. Right, so if we have a look in this, we can find that there's an example create article on the Joomla website. So why don't we copy that instead? And we can see in this case we've got a title we call here's my title. That may just be the formatting that was uh, from the JSON file or something like that. But as you can see, um, We've done it and we've sent it. We didn't get an error this time. If we go back into Joomla, close out of our thing, and we called it, here is an article. So as you can see, we called it, uh, here's an article, and the text should be my text. And here it is, my text. So now we've added, remotely added, a Joomla article to the Joomla instance. So if you want to uh, have a play around with it, there's plenty of things you can do, uh, including some dangerous things like updating com config, so set a site offline or something like that. But you can actually access all of Joomla, pretty much anything you can do in the back end, you can do in uh, Joomla through the API. And helpfully, they're already created here. I am going to show you how to find the information you need, which is um, here, so if I was going to create a menu item, I would need to make sure I'd put this stuff in there. Um, one thing you'll, you'll need to know is that on this endpoint, there's an app, and the app will either be site or client. So site is the front end, and client is the back end. Uh, sorry, site or administrator. Uh, so site is the front end, and administrator is the back end. So you, as you know, you can create an administrator menu and a front-end menu nowadays. So that will be what you choose that for. Uh, and here's the, the stuff you would paste in. If we want to create a menu, um, we will do this, post. Apologies for the confusion. I'll put that as site. I will put this in the body this time. should make more sense. So again, this has gone a bit funny. I'm not sure it must be the formatting. Um, if I send that, I get a response. Oh, here it is, title menu. So it hasn't got anything in it. So um, now we'll create a menu item. So here we will call it site. And then we will go to the body. Let's go back here and create the menu item. Send. And now let's have a look. I think it might be added to main menu this time. And if we look, it was added to main menu. 
and the title of it was ah here's the title called title so we see one called title so that's the one we've just added hope that helps you in um, getting to know the Joomla 4 API um, you can mess around with all the other parts because of the JSON file it should be reasonably easy um, the only thing that could confuse you would be um, the site versus administrator but now that we've seen that everything else should be simple enough to play around with hope that helps